Hello guys, it's the ERC Buggy Stuff doing a review on the Slash. And um, I was going to do a big jump video, but I did it and I broke it and I ended it weirdly because I was looking at it. And um, uh, just a little angry because I wanted to do something with it Friday. But I had it fixed. And I had the stock back. And, um, this is kind of a review. My last kind of certain kind of a review wasn't really a review. I was just talking. So, I actually have an actual review I'm going to do today. And, um, overall, durability, very, very, very good. They actually say it's really hard to break the rear shock tower. So, I don't even know how I did it. So, um, but I did. So, that being said, that being said, um, now, uh, I have some tips before I get to the review. Um, I am a beginner at this, but I am finding my way, watching other videos on YouTube. Um, finding out from the people that I bought the stuff from, and they're actually saying that, um, what they actually say, but I actually found out that anything you break, you want to replace with RPM. Always, always, always replace with RPM. Don't just keep buying the stock stuff. Um, this is not my first hobby grade RC, I just didn't race my other one very much or use it at all. Um, so. Always replace with RPM. This is better. Trust me. You're going to like it a lot better than anything else because it's never going to break. And RPM has a lifetime warranty. And don't get a little because it bends like heck. It bends very, very, very easy. So, um, I would definitely recommend not getting aluminum parts because they are going to bend. Well, I didn't get any parts, but I had a friend, let's put it that way, that had parts. And he kind of let me have his truck for a long time. Um, and I bent, like, all the ARs and shock towers. So just stick with classic RPM. They have cool colors and stuff. It's not, it's not really about looks. If you're doing, if you're buying a slash for looks, then you shouldn't even be listening to my reviews then you don't care about how it performs um the one downside of the slash is it goes so fast and it flips like i'll try to demonstrate yeah of course it doesn't flip when you want it to flip perfect example so um yeah. But, other than that, it's a really good truck. Um, I want to widen it and hire it, so I don't really know how to do that. I know that you're going to have to have different A-arms. Um, so, please tell me how in the comments. I really want it to be higher. Um, kind of like, uh, I don't know if you... But if you look up slash upgrades, normally this video will pop up where this guy just has this slash and it's really high in the front and really wide. I kind of want it to be like that. So if anyone can tell me how, that'd be really cool. So back to the review. Um, it's really good truck, really durable. Um, it's okay fast. Um, uh, it's not as okay when you first get it. You're like, dang, this is fast. But then you start using it, you're kind of like, oh, yeah. So, I'm definitely going brushless. Um, I don't like the trash this stuff. So I'm getting a Castle Creations brushless system. 
and I'm getting a 2S LiPo, maybe a 3. Um, but I've always heard 2S's work better. So, that's what I'm getting. 2S LiPo, most likely. I'm getting the big bore shocks. I just want the big bore shocks. There's no really big reason. Well, there is. I'll, hold on, I'm about to show you. Okay. So. Let me zoom completely out. Zoom. That is. Um, other than that, it's pretty good. Um, run up and down the street a little bit when I'm talking to you guys. Like I said, it's really tough. Don't knock my mailbox down. Yep. So you are gonna run your bumpers to death. You're gonna have to have spare bumpers. Don't get aluminum spare bumpers. They bend. As does any other aluminum part. Aluminum parts look cool. They don't perform cool at all. Now, let's run it in the grass a little bit. I do not like the way it runs in the grass. I, that's why I run it on the road. Almost all the time. Because it kind of sucks in the grass. At all, like, big time. Not very good traction. It runs the battery down really quick. Forget that you guys can't see this. I'm sorry. Like I said, it's only me doing this. I think my other video about me jumping the slash has gone up. I don't know if that or not. I really don't like jumping it anymore after I broke that part. Um, one thing you want to know, um, I actually just found this out. It's kind of an idiot move not to really take through and, you know, be like, oh, okay. Um, well, you do need to rotate your tires if you're running on the road. Just like you would with a regular car, you need to rotate your tires. Because they're going to get worn, just like a regular car. So it's better to rotate them, especially when you have a two-wheel drive slash, because then all of them are just going to... The rear tires are going to get bald really fast, like mine are starting to do. Failure. Now, since I don't feel like carrying the camera all the way there and TV magic, 
Boom! It's ma magic, I tell you. Magic! Yes, I am crazy if you want to ask. I guess any guy that wants to spend upwards to, you know, $500 in RC and then, you know, $500 more in parts is crazy. I totally believe that. But, you get addicted to the hobby. Trust me. That's why if you don't want to spend that much money on an RC car, don't get into it. You're going to get addicted. Trust me. That's cool. One other tip before I go. You always want to run your battery completely dead and charge your battery completely up. It really helps with the runtime eventually. So, you guys can't see this, but I'm running out on the road. Sorry, I'm not just gonna keep. Okay, I'm gonna stop boring you guys.